My name is Rhapsody, his name is Sneaky Teak, and welcome back to the Lana Streak. Whew, it's a, it's a good day to defect. How's it going, bud? It's going awesome, and I've been looking forward to this since, you know, however many days ago that we did the silent run together. It's gonna uh, be good. Seven. These are weekly. Seven days. It's been seven days, mm -hmm. we think. It's definitely yeah. not something that we've recorded immediately after the previous one. There's no batching. Of course not. <laughs> How would we respond to the comments? Like, I'm going to respond to a comment that was on the silent video uh, and say, yeah, Grand Finale is that good. I'm just guessing there's going to be a comment saying, wow, I didn't know Grand Finale could be that good. How would you know that? Incredible. <laughs> exactly. If that I'm... comment's not there, I'm going to make it myself. And then I can <laughs> respond to it. I like it. I Perfect. like it. I do actually have a YouTube channel. I just don't. There's no content on it. But I we'll mean, figure that out. I, uh, I, it, it's, it's still worth uh, dropping down in the links in the description down below, which I will now start to do because it's still something people can subscribe to and then be up to yeah. date when you do start releasing content on YouTube. To say first in the comments. Mm -hmm. That's right. Oh, that happens. <laughs> Boy, does that yeah. happen. I like it. Make the mark. I'm so. I really am. Genuinely. Jokes aside. Defect is a very powerful class that can just absurdly blow out the heart, and it's also really hard. Mm -hmm. And elites are stronger now, so yep. we're starting to see the effects of ascensions. Uh, that's that's exactly what I was about to say. Like the normal yeah. enemies are deadlier. I don't really care that much. Uh, elites are deadlier. Now we now we have to consider that at the very least before we go to things. Yeah, I I think that the enemies are deadlier. Uh, modifiers sneak up on you because what you find is you're just taking passively more damage mm -hmm. and so all of a sudden you have to pick to either be faster or better at block or just to have more optionality potions become more important like yeah i'm excited for the ascensions to continue to go up you definitely notice it more uh, when it's coming from elites rather than when it's coming from yes. normal enemies but you know that's you do. the nature of things so i'm looking at these paths i'm looking at these as well Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. I want to know about your evaluation of uh, gaining a rare colorless card. So, I love rare colorless starts. Um, there are certain cards that are really, really powerful immediately. Mm -hmm. A lot of people say Apotheosis, and Apotheosis is good. But actually, the cards which I'm really excited about in the beginning of a run are like Hand of Greed. Mm -hmm. That card is a lot of front-loaded damage, and it's going to pay you a lot of money. I'm most excited about that on Watcher, but it's good on Defect, too. Mm -hmm. Defect can deal really well with one more card, which is Panache. I love Panache. Defect can proc it very consistently, and Defect is not always great at AoE. Mm -hmm. If you pick up, like, Hyper Beams for Holloways or Electrodynamics, you're good. But anyway, I, I think the rare colorless cards are really good. Worst case, you get a Master of Strategy and you're more consistent. I'm happy to do it here. And there's no, like, amazing Merchant start that we really want to take. Mm -hmm. So... I think we should do it. I'm um, speaking of starts here. Uh, like before mm -hmm. we even take that, I'm kind of thinking the four early enemies for uh, pickups go to here, and mm -hmm. then decide whether we go for this elite off to this side or go for the yeah. emerald. I like that. I mean, what we get here might influence. I want to see it because yeah. I so I watched uh, I watched recently you do a a, a defect run that was. Whew, it was a marathon of a run, and good lord, well done <laughs> on it. Uh, Thank you. And in particular, I saw you make real good use of turbos. Yes, I, I love turbo. am almost turbo electric. Uh, electric. Sorry, yeah, I'm turbo electric. Uh, electric. And, and I'm working uh, turbo electric. Turbo electric exactly. sounds like a sweet 70s or 80s song. I think. It does. It, like it, it sounds like a knockoff. Like someone heard Grease Lightning and they were like, okay, we're going to write mm. a musical called Oil. Uh, and it's their, <laughs> like, it's their point song in it. Right? Turbo electric. It's their <laughs> Grease electric. Lightning. Oh my God. It's the knockoff. Yeah, the card's really good, and, and and Turbo is really good, too. The biggest thing that I tell people with cards like Turbo, and and I'm just going to be along for the ride for these first few fights, I'm yeah. excited, is that you have to ask yourself, how much of a downside is it really? The average hallway fight is done in three to five turns, and it depends on the deck, but really, you're not drawing back into the Turbo void very often. And when you are, and there it is, <laughs> let's take it. Let's take it. We're going to yeah. prove it. We're going to prove the thing. <laughs> the biggest thing that you really need to be asking is, how do I draw enough cards? Like, Turbo becomes a lot better if you get any card draw. Any card draw. Mm -hmm. I mean, Skim is obviously, like, the uh, the gold standard there. 
it's huge. You can get a lot of value out of Compile Driver too. I take Compile Driver really aggressively. Mm -hmm. Compile Driver Hologram is effective card draw. That is a yep. really solid card. Yep. It's a solid upgrade target too, which we're I'm leaning towards left path probably based on what I've seen so far. Yeah, I'm, I'm worried about our damage. <laughs> yeah. Well, and just and just health. Like, we could go in, but on a bad draw on Gremlin Knob or something, we just die. But if we can get one upgrade, then, you know, we only need Panache to proc once or twice. Ooh. It's interesting. That's a really... It's Who's very our early consume. Uh, that's, it's, uh, the, the uh, Guardian. Guardian. I, I, I'm good with it. I'm good with it. You want to take consume? Yeah. We have turbo to help pay for it. It's a solid focus source. It's oh, good. <laughs> we're not drawing defense for the absolute life of us right now. Yeah, we really are struggling to block. Ooh. We're in a dangerous point, actually, where we are right now. Yeah, it might be a rest there. Yeah. The because... magic number is 33. For Gremlin Knob, because at 33, you can live through vulnerable and one big attack. 32 damage together. Oh, okay, okay. So I'm picking one of these left two cards because White Noise is two card plays, uh -huh. and Overclock is two additional cards. Right, drawn. right. My consideration for Tempest is born out of the the consume, but that's just because yeah. it's the most recent one we picked up. I like White yeah. Noise a lot. I, sure. I will uh, I will confess to something, which is uh, when the defect came out, I, I was on my <laughs> absolute grind. I was releasing four defect episodes a day. Um, Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wow. Uh, as well as doing my other series at the same time as well. But uh, what, what, uh, what I called my shot on was I saw white noise, and I saw the powers in the defect, and I made the breakdown of, like, these are the different powers that you can get. Uh, and yeah. my call was white noise is the most OP card in the game. Whoa. That, I don't stand by it, but I still love it a lot because there is a little bit of that anchoring of that still with me. I really yeah. enjoy it. But but I do I think, still think that it's if very I think powerful. of white noise and distraction, I think this one's better. Oh yeah, it's 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 not an Infernal Blade. It's not a distraction. It is of the three of it, them. In Infernal my Blade, I think is 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 good. I, <laughs> I, I take it. Wait, hang on. Are we a defect? I. I oh man, you you're gonna you're gonna try not to take preserved insect right now. I know you want the cheese, the the rainbow cheese. It's I mean it. it I'm happy taking the preserved insect. I'm not gonna try and convince oh. otherwise. Um, I don't want to yuck your yum. We no no no, it's it. it's fine. It's fine. I'm I'm not I'm not saying that we should take it. I'm. It's just, uh, I very rarely get to take it this early yeah we we can't right even with the upgrade i, I think it's a I, I think it's actually a risk i think it's actually a risk here yeah <laughs> to be honest i think it's always a risk i'm holding myself back so hard it's so uh i guess because we have smoke bomb yeah i mean there's smoke bomb Honestly? and there's also like if the white noise hits a good target we win what what about um what about go left Upgrade Panache, and then Smoke Bomb if the draw's wrong. Is that so ever wrong? do we upgrade Panache before we upgrade like other things like you know the Zap dual cast to get more zero cost to make Panache more consistently usable? Because I think like Panache will do four more damage, but if we upgrade Zap, it'll do ten more damage. Yeah, it's a good question. Like we have one turbo and no real card draw, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I I like I like the I like the Zap upgrade here. Sure, I like it. Cool. The hologram upgrade is too early. These fights are too fast. Well. Oh, and we got the draw here. Okay, I think we can win this fight. I'm, I'm fairly confident. We we drew turbo and zap in the starting hand though. So, can we proc panache at all in the draw? I uh, don't. Hang on. Well, uh, it would it would be a hologram and a full hand, but no, not now. Okay. Well, uh, white noise hologram though. We can do it next turn. We can hologram turbo and and there's white noise. We're good. So we just triple defend here then, right? Yep. Save as much life as possible. Okay. Uh, so while you're while you're closing out this fight with panache. Yes. Hoo 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 hoo. I um, believe I do it with panache. There's nothing I don't do here, with panache. Here's the thing about rainbow cheese. 
and uh, oh, you can. Uh, yeah, I'm with. I'm I'm back to actually worried about the uh, the damage. No, I think we're okay, right? If you hollow zap, this or is... is it hollow turbo? Which one do you think it is? Uh oh, hollow. Ah, oh, hollow. Ah, oh, hollows. Hmm. Hang on, we've got what? Three more cast cast hollow zap, and then strike will do it. Yeah, sure. It's like so much damage. Not the target and I want it. <laughs> can you? Do you ever strike? I think you just strike the back line here, don't you? Well, no, because the panache is killing them. Yeah, That's panache very silly. Them. I'm sorry. Front line, and then they're almost dead, and they might die. Yeah. yeah. If there was any chance for the lightning to kill the midliner, I'd have gone. Well, for and it, and actually, the static discharge proc was really relevant. This is not bad. We came in with 31 health, right? And mm -hmm. and we only took 17 damage off of one upgrade. It's not bad. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Okay. I I want to hear what you think. I want to hear what you think. Okay. I don't dislike Static Discharge. Static Discharge effectively says, if you have trouble in a fight, have less trouble in that fight, save a bunch of yeah. HP. And uh, it can be a really clever block mechanism with frost orbs too. Yes, it yeah, makes for no, weird math. You use that to, to good extent in the uh, in the run aforementioned. Yeah, I think with a consume already, I don't mm. dislike rainbow. We are missing yeah. damage at the moment, and we have a hologram already though. Streamline yeah. is a lot of damage. It is, it is, and it's something that we can get cheap, and it plays into the the the, the panache too. I like mm -hmm. it. The one consideration with Rainbow, and the thing that, that made me really consider that one, is Rainbow is a single card activator for Compile Driver. This deck is hungry for card draw. Mm. But I like the Streamline here a lot. I, I think it solves more pressing problems. Okay. So now this arrest too. we can avoid all Elites. So Rest? I think Rest because then we can actually take an Elite, right? We bought a Preserved Insect. Sure. Yeah. Uh, this one has a shop at the top, but we don't have that much money. I'm happy with a question mark at the moment in the shop. Okay, sure. We'll have on average another like 60 at that point. Ooh. Streamline in the it? opening hand? It makes it easier to hologram. It yeah. makes it easier to free. I like that. And and actually this could be end up being a run where we keep our deck fairly small. Finally. I, <laughs> I feel like, more comfortable with that. We, we, we should pull that quote back out in act three, you know, when we have a 40 card deck. Oh man, we need a lantern. Yeah, we do. That would be pretty sweet. Oh yeah. Oh can't, yeah. Can't play it yet though. I I don't know. I maybe 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 you're right. Maybe we want to consume next turn before playing it. Yeah. And then Okay, I like that line. Cool. Anyway, to get it out of my system before it, oh. it percolates through my, my skin and blows me up. We're not gonna be the able to prismatic play shard. Oh, you're right, that's too bad. I really, really want to like it, and I think it got a lot better when Watcher came out. Ooh, aggro line. Is it both? Yeah. Yeah. I hate the HP loss, but it is both. Uh, it became a lot worse when the Watcher came out, you were saying? Um, it, came, it became a lot better when the Watcher came out, actually. I think Watcher made Prismatic Shard much better, because the other classes benefit a lot from being able to do Wrath and Watcher benefits from getting other classes' attacks. So I think Prismatic Shard is better than ever. And I still really struggle to take it because I see it as like spending money on a handicap. Mm -hmm. You're basically saying, I want to spend money right now and a potential relic in order to have less consistency for the rest of the run. So I still do it sometimes because it's really fun to like get Juggernaut with your Frost Orb looping, right? Yeah. Like that's crazy. That's really cool and degenerate. Um, but I think it increases variance a lot, a lot. It definitely, definitely does. <clears throat> wow. This is cool. I love Fission. I really is, do. Is that the only uh, card you're looking at here? I mean, the FTL is relevant and the plus two max HP is relevant. I, I, I like Melter okay, but I think the other two aid the deck a lot more. And Fission is super cool. Like, I actually kind of like Fission unupgraded sometimes. Ooh. Why? <laughs> so there's a few things that it can do for you. Unupgraded fission can let you get rid of lightning orbs without killing an enemy because you're like farming genetic algorithm or something. Mm -hmm. So that's an upside. But the more realistic thing is unupgraded uh, fission is the card that you found and the card draw is more relevant than the damage. That's the more common reason. Okay. I can see that. Ooh. 
Do you I like boot because we have streamline? I, I like boot, yeah, because we've already got the damage okay. opening hand, and you know we want to be able to defend without spending all the energy because of the same problem previously. Cool. I am worried that we haven't got like any defense, except you know hologram, but you know it's negligible at the moment. Our defenses are offense until we get to guardian, mm -hmm. and at that point we will have found one cool headed, and we'll upgrade the consume. Actually, I don't know that we're gonna get to upgrade. I'm not gonna lie, this may be a rest. It does. It hurts. It Take hurts. Three. It's so close to lethal. This is a hairy start. Oh, see, like, here's a time where we can go panache, zap, vision, and find lethal. I'll do it. This is, like, just good enough, right? Hmm. I think this is just max HP. Is there any consideration for the fact that we have a consume in the deck and there's a recursion that may be zero cost on an upgrade? What do you think about recursion? When is recursion available to us? I just wish it were upgraded, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, I, I've i gone up and down and up and down and up and down on recursion. I like recursion when it effectively increases saturation of frost for block, or mm. when it is letting you cycle and upcycle a dark orb. Occasionally, I see recursion as a, like, a weird part of an infinite with plasma orbs. I've done that before. Mm. Um, but I think it's hard to take on one cost when the only source of an orb in the deck right now is one zap if yeah. we had taken the rainbow maybe i'm all over this recursion because the dark orb is how we beat guardian or something mm -hmm. um but we didn't take rainbow right so i don't know <sighs> plus two max hp is worth so much that explosive pot is probably about to bail us out big time right uh, we'll see we'll see we can we you know, play out the turn naturally and see if it works sure, sure. Uh, let's kill you first smart Thankful for this potion. <laughs> ah, it gets replaced. We might want the strength potion on the first turn against the boss. This yeah, game we might solves the problems we were looking for for the cards. I love this game, and it's and it's and it's more block too because it helps us find those few defends, and that's more block too. Yeah, as a matter of fact, speaking of more block, this has yeah. got to be a rest. I think. I think so. I think so. It's actually going to be a closer fight than I want it to be, but I'm thinking strength it'll be okay. on the first turn as well. I like it. I like it. And Are I think we, going we have white to noise play or streamline. Get him on the ground. Yeah, what's in the white noise? Well, let's see. Hmm. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. We got We've a got... lot of difficulty filling it. Yeah. yeah, but it's okay because with like one consume, all of a sudden our damage saturation turn to turn is really really good and all we have to focus on is staying safe. With the turbo in hand, was that it? We're good with just a strike, yeah. I was just wondering if that was ever hologram consume. Oh, uh, I, ha Ooh, hang on. So the enemy had, uh, what was it, 19 to put them down? Yeah. Strike is eight, 10 from the panache. They take the attack if we do that. Oh no, three from the lightning. Nah, you're fine. Yeah. It's okay. I, I think getting the streamline to be free will be super useful. And hologram's out of the deck now, right? So that's no mm -hmm. longer the plan. I'm wondering if like this vision is going to be the thing that saves us in the late game. I love skim here too, because then we get a better recycle, right? Yep. I honestly think that like the game plan at the moment is just defend and try and fill these slots yep. and then attack Agreed. as a secondary. Agreed. This is going to be very different than our previous run where we were attacking into the sharp hide. Uh, we're not ever going to Definitely do that. Definitely can't. Yeah. I wish I could. I know, I know. It'd be nice to push, right? I think, boot heck, sequence. the boot sequence. I think I think it's boot sequence, defend, take the three, get the consume. Is turbo ahead of us? Uh, Yes, but it's one, it's half, yeah. half chance again. And we want that next draw. Well, we're not going to get the split here. Yeah, I like this line. I like this line. I'm so thankful for the oddly smooth stone. It's really relevant. Right yeah. <laughs> you know, this defect run, it's struggling. It's the most behind we've been coming out of act one in our run so far. I think we dual cast, right? Mm -hmm. We need to. Okay. It's the most behind. And I feel the reason is actually upgrades. Yeah, like we there would be a lot of these so much happier. desperate for an upgrade. Yeah. And maybe one more block card, like cool headed would make such a big difference mm -hmm. in this deck's turn to turn block. 
I'm not, oh. like, especially considering how much extra card draw we're going to put in the deck and the fact that we have the consume as well. I'm not allergic to the idea of, like, a charge battery. I like a charge yeah, battery. Yeah, no, no, I love a charge battery here. Okay, how do we live through the Whirlwind next turn? Uh, it's looking like with lock. Yeah, because we're going to need to skim here, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I guess the question is, do we ever need the fission? I think if we fission, we might be killing ourselves in the long run right now. Oh, it's a t it's a tough choice. It's a tough choice. There's no doubt. So it's what? It's three energy. We get the consume. We get another defend out. The defend defends us to 18. The incoming damage. So we could theoretically also throw out the streamline, only take one damage this turn. So it is. it also triggers the panache. So it is a lot of extra damage this turn. I'm not convinced that this isn't the fission. Just because we already know that two of our five draws are not block. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And there would be one more. Oh, man. And is it like turbo dual cast to get another panache proc? Yep. Is that relevant? I think it is. We might get bailed out by this attack potion, too. It's another thing. Double defend strike. Or is it double defend skim zap? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Do we play, wait, do we play attack potion now for a panache proc? Yep, sure, we definitely should. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm. this is going to be a really close fight. Like, every play is going to be super, yeah, super I, relevant. Yeah, I should have held on that for uh, just a moment longer. The enemy's I, getting we'll extra block next turn. Is it? Oh, no, it shouldn't, but it could be. No, I think that's next turn. I think that attack potion is next turn. Dang, void. If it's not, we hope that it's not. Okay. Okay, streamline's good. Streamline's good. And we don't want to play it till after the shuffle. We have two blocks next turn. That's really good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So we can get the phase shift here. We're guaranteed the full block next turn. And then we're back to rolling the dice, huh? Will we or won't we consume? Probably won't we. Won't. Okay. I am in complete spook territory. Yep. Uh, yeah, we're good. The The lightning is really relevant. The lightning gives us our best chance. Like, we might actually be killing in two turns instead of blocking. Nice. Three damage to us right now is 18 damage to the enemy. Yeah. It's another void in our discard pile, though, but it is 18 damage to the enemy. Which puts us like seven away, so what, ten damage in the next turn away from a do kill? You, do you ever attack pot now then to be the the attack that we play? Ooh, uh, why would I do that over the strike? Because it's likely to be a lot of damage, and then we can recycle it into the deck. It increases our chances to win next turn, which is kind of the play we're making. Sure, but we can fish for the attack potion uh, kill next turn anyway. True, true. Okay, I like it. I like it. I, I do think we've fully committed to winning next turn, right? Oh, yep. God, and just one zap gets us there anyway. Yep. yep. And then we get to save attack potion for, like, birds. Mm -hmm. GG, Rhapsody. That was genuinely a spooky fight. Oh, speaking of uh, speaking of spooky, <laughs> we have, a, we have a, a turbo. We have a way to play it. Yeah, yeah, we should do it. Oh, hell yeah. So I thought that was going to be we a hard convince. It. We should do this, yes. You did mean Meteor Strike, right? I did. Oh, thank Here's you. Here's the Sneko Eye. Here's the Sneko Here we Eye, go. too. And we're going to do weird. No, dang it. Oh, you know, you got to try to call your shots. Parry apps. Okay. Okay. I like it. I, I think that's enough to take the curse key here. Consistent energy is going to be really important. Like, I've seen Defect die in hallway fights with Slaver's Caller in Act 2. Mm -hmm. so oh, I like the, it. the second act for me is Defect is very much like, okay, I got through the first act. I might not yet have my strategy together. I need to fix yeah. it on this. I'm dead. Yep. Yeah, it can <laughs> happen so suddenly. Yeah. A bad, like, Shelled Parasite in Friends fight followed by Chosen in Friends, and it's lights out. Mm -hmm. Well, that was, a, that was a pretty quick first floor, despite the fact that it was a, a very, very uh, rough one. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll but I love this about ladder is that you'll, even early ladder, you'll occasionally have runs that are real close. Oh, yeah. I mean, because obviously, like, you've got the extra consideration of, like, I could build a deck that, you know, has you know, your claws and stuff like that, but I have to build a deck that can also affect the heart. And, right, right. you know, claws is a little bit more of a rough uh, proposition at that point.
It can be. That's right. Uh, for the moment, though, uh, I'm going to say that uh, my name is from Rhapsody. His name's been Sneaky Teak. There is a link in the description down below to the next part of the uh, of the run. We will join you then. Cheers. <laughs>